What's going on, people? I watched a video on YouTube regarding raw black soap. Now, this is raw black soap right here. And I watched quite a few videos, and different people had different experiences for the soap. This is some excellent soap. I can't stress how good this soap is uh, when it comes to cleaning, uh, when it comes to clearing acne off your skin. The stuff is outstanding. But different people have different experiences when it comes to this. What you have to understand before you buy the soap is this is some quite harsh soap. So if you have extremely sensitive skin, maybe you need to maybe try this out first. Just lightly try this out. Maybe um, wash your whole body to see how it works for you. And then maybe try it once or twice on your face. This is one of the only soaps that I use on my face. Now, when I use this soap, because of the fact that I have sensitive skin, I use this soap maybe like three times a week. Maybe four, right? Really depends. So it really depends upon your type of skin. Now, there's people that have sensitive skin. I remember when I first used this, um, I broke out. But... I left it alone for a little bit, for about a week, and then I took maybe a chunk of it off. I always cut like a piece off and used that and started using it. And within a week later, my face had cleared up. It was just so clear. On top of this, I used shea butter or moringa oil. And I'll be making a video on the moringa oil. This is some excellent stuff. But um, I'll also be doing a video on this. Now, there are maybe... Five types of raw black soap, okay? And, and and I couldn't can't stress it more. This is raw black soap. So if you have sensitive skin, you have to proceed with caution, right? Um, I have sensitive skin, but it works well for me. I only use it because of the fact it's so harsh. I only use this like maybe, again, like I said, about three or four times a week. Um, and then I'll use like the Dr. Bonner's liquid soap, but when it comes to cleansing my skin and for acne problems, which I really don't have, this is perfect for it, all right? Now, there's four types of black soap. If you have real sensitive skin, well, before I get to that, I also want to show you um, Moringa. Now, this is the same type of black soap, but it has Moringa oil in it. And again, if you don't know what Moringa oil is, I'll do a video and I'll talk about the Moringa oil. But black soap with Moringa oil, this is also excellent soap. It's just got a little bit more oomph to it because it's got the Moringa oil in it. And the Moringa oil uh, just quickly also helps to lighten your skin. It don't have any type of dyes in it. Uh, but what it does is because of the oil, the type of oil it is, it actually helps to get dirt out of your skin. And by getting that extra oil and dirt out of your skin, it somewhat lightens your skin, all right? So that's how it lightens. It doesn't lighten it because it's, you know, got some type of dyes or uh, skin lightening cream or anything like that in it. But it's, it's natural. It, it cleans your face so good that it helps to get, to, to get that deep-seated dirt and oil out of your skin. And therefore, it lightens your skin. But even with the Moringa oil, I don't recommend using that every single day. Because too much of anything is not good for you. Also, too, if you have real sensitive skin and if you can't use this raw black soap, then I would also suggest you use the liquid black soap. Liquid black soap is good. Now, you can use it on your face, on your whole body. And I'd go as far as saying that you can even use this on a baby's skin. This is how good this stuff is right here. So this is liquid black soap. And I'll be doing a different video on the liquid black soap. So if you can't use the raw black soap, if this is too harsh for you, then you might want to use the liquid black soap. But it all, it's got, all got the same results. It's all the same result. It cleans your skin. Um, it clears your face of any acne or... Uh, psoriasis or eczema, you know, things like that. Now, last but not least, 
This is the raw black soap paste. This is another type of black soap that if you have real sensitive skin and you can't handle the bar raw black soap, you can use the paste. It's a paste. You know, you dip it out of there. You can put it in your rag or however you wash your body. And it lathers up. All, all four of these soaps lathers up great. Great lather. You can see the oil, the dirt going down the drain. But this is raw black soap paste. So if you can't handle the bar soap, then you might want to try either the liquid soap, the liquid black soap, or the raw black soap paste. And it, like I said, it's a paste. It's not the hard bar soap, but this is also um, forgiving when it comes to your skin. It's not as harsh um, as the bar soap. And with the liquid black soap and the paste, these two you can use, or I could, I'd say you can use every day, all right? But again, like I said, too much of anything is not good for you. So I'm going to put a link to where you can find the black soap on the bottom here. But when it comes to raw black soap, I just want to say that it really depends upon uh, what type of skin you have. This is good for all skin. But if you have real sensitive type skin, you break out easy. Um, if you get rash easy, I would not recommend black soap for your face. Okay, just because of the fact that it's, in my opinion, is harsh. It's harsh, but it's real effective. And I guarantee you, if you even if you have sensitive skin and you use this to the point where you can use it maybe three or four times a day, after a week, I guarantee you, you're going to see results. If not you, somebody else is going to question you and ask you, uh, how do you get your skin so clear? You know, and they're going to they're going to brag about it. My son get that now. Um, I get that every now and again. People question about uh, what do you use on your face and your skin. And when it comes to guys, we really don't feel too comfortable talking to other guys about skin care. Right. But. And that's why I make this video. Right. But when it comes to different types of soap, uh, because of the fact that I sell different types of soap, soaps in my store, um, I try it out so that I can give you uh, an honest opinion on this. Um, now, when I listened to that girl's video and she was talking about how it broke her out and she was basically trashing black soap and viewing the comments, just about everybody in the comment was defending black soap, was talking about how great it is and maybe it just didn't work for her. But even when it comes to her, I think the black soap would be good for her but she have to start out slowly. You just can't go in there. And another thing too is, after I finish using black soap, and if you have real sensitive skin, or better yet, if you have oily skin, the black soap somewhat dries it out. If you don't have like maybe uh, moringa oil, uh, shea butter or something to like maybe put on your face, you know, on your skin. Some people, they can't tolerate the shea butter on their face. Um, it's good for your body, but some people, they can't handle it. Me, I use shea butter on my face just about every day. Um, either shea butter or moringa oil I use on my face, and I never have a problem with it. Um, every now and then, I'll back off the shea butter, and I use moringa oil just so that my, my skin doesn't get used to one thing. Because like I said, too much of anything is, is not good for you. But when I saw that video, I had to make this video because... Just because that one person had a bad experience, don't make this product bad. This is some excellent stuff right here. You know, I don't know where she bought um, her raw black soap from. I don't know. She heard about it. Um, she paid for it. And she complained about it because she had maybe a couple of bumps on her face. Well, those bumps could be a result also of what you eat. See, it's not always the product you use on your face or on your skin. Sometimes it's what you eat. And especially if you don't get enough water. If you don't drink enough water, all that poison and toxins in your body is going to have an effect. It's going to come out somewhere. And in nine times out of ten, it's going to come out in your skin. You can tell. It's like a drinker or a smoker. If you drink and smoke a lot, 
People, a lot, nine times out of ten, a person can tell you smoke and drink just by your skin or by, um, and I'm not going to get into that, but just by certain signs, um, they can look at your face and tell that you are a drinker or a smoker because it oozes out of your pores. Um, just like people that eat a lot of garlic. You know, if you eat too much garlic, you're going to start smelling like garlic because it's going to come through your pores. So a lot of times people have bad ac uh, acne or skin problems because of what they eat, because of their diet, or because of the fact that they're not taking enough water um, inside their bodies. But when it comes to like the raw black soap, the liquid black soap, the paste, um, the stuff is, you, you can't beat it anywhere. The stuff is excellent. And I, I put this up against anything that you buy in a supermarket. This kind of stuff, you can't buy in a supermarket, right? You can't. It's just that good and it's natural, right? But I'm going to put the link. If you're interested in this, if you're in the skincare and you want clear skin, I'm going to put a link to the video or to the website on the bottom where you can find uh, the black soap, uh, the liquid black soap, the paste. All four of these products are extremely excellent. And this is what I use just about every day. The black soap, maybe about three or four times a week. The other days I may use either the Dr. Bonner's liquid soap, um, the ones without any type of perfumes in it, or I'll use the liquid black soap. You know, I squirt this on, on the rag. I have like a squirt top that I put on this because it's the kind you, you know, you twist this off, but there's a squirt top. Um, that you can get where you can just squirt it on your rag, you know, or however you wash yourself or on your sponge. And then you, you know, you wash yourself down, but it lathers up really good. Um, all of the oil and the grease, the dirt that's in your skin, you just see that stuff going right down the drain. And in a matter of time, a very short period of time, you start seeing a difference in your skin. So I'm going to put a link to the bottom. You guys can check it out until next time. Peace.